Hi guys. Where's here? Oh, here we got a nice Toro. It's when they still used Hondas on the Toros. And uh, this one is not my not my personal favorite. This is kind of a humorous, right? But it's the personal pace right here. Which you push down on this and it tightens up on the pulley to drive the wheels. A lot of moving parts. But besides that, this is one of the last good Toros as far as I'm concerned. And uh, it sat all winter. I, oh, please forgive me. It sat all winter. And I just started it five minutes ago, and while I was looking underneath, the blade is good. No marks in the blade, and uh, I cleaned out the broccoli from underneath. That's all I've done. So let's just see. I'll just show you. Uh, it's almost out of gas, too, by the way. So that starts pretty nice. I haven't changed the plug or anything yet. So uh, my next venture is to, this is going to be a nice tune-up because I don't have to go back underneath it. I am going to give her uh, half a tank of unleaded fuel. Uh, un, I'm sorry, it'll be unleaded fuel for sure, but it'll be uh, non-ethanol fuel. And that should keep her going for quite a bit of the summer. She's got a small yard. Uh, she brought this to me two years ago. And uh, I had to clean the carburetor at that point. It was all gummed up. But this year, it's good. So that's a nice little mower. Shouldn't take much. So I'm just going to put it up on the, on the fender lift. The gal that owns this lives just about six houses away, and she does. She always mulches. She never uses the bag, so there was quite a bit of uh, uh, green grass, dried green grass underneath. But that's after two years too, so good for her, and good for me. So I'm just gonna bring it over here, and uh, I'm gonna look at the spark plug. Jack her up. Oops, you gotta watch though, right? And that'll probably be a PR 5ES or a 6ES, depending on whether I changed the plug on it last time. Let's have a look. Cover me. I'm going in! Come on, here we go. <laughs> These are about 10 threads. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That should come out. They're quite long. Here we are. What is it? BPR 6 ES. So I changed the plug on it two years ago. I'm going to just clean this up. Wait till you see the difference. Ta da! And I measure between end to end, and it's 4.73 K. And from the anode or the tip to ground, it's open resistance. It's perfect. Let's just put that baby back in there. It did come off early. I'm just easy. I'm just going to make sure. Oh no. Good. Let's get her started. How many threads are on there? I bet you there's a dozen, eh? Oops. 
Yeah, so it should be about 10 turns in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be getting there. Yep. All right. How much gas do we have? I don't think we have very much. Boy, she's almost dry. I'm almost willing to take and drain out all the fuel. We'll do it the easy way with a metric 10 millimeter spanner. Good. And then we'll get that little fancy dish. It should take most of that fuel. Yeah, let's just look at the air filter while we're at it. Boy, I think I'm just going to blow that out and, and keep it. This is a... She's just gone camping for the weekend and it's Monday and I wanted to get this back to her today. And uh, anybody who works on these things enough knows that uh, that's a good... It's still a good air filter. I'll just spin it around so the oil doesn't contaminate it at the same point. Oh, now we're going to drain this out. In fact, I think we're so close to being out of fuel. Look at that, eh? Let's just tilt her up a little bit. Unless there's a, a shutoff. Nope, there isn't. So that's how close it was to being out of fuel. Wow! That's kind of fun. Wait, don't run. These kind of troubles are lots of fun. Good. So now we got to just uh, put a little gas in it and uh, change the oil. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. Now you don't have to wash me for gas in that. Hey, you should got a full tank. I got to refill that. I'm going to see if I can fit it in the big bin. Okay. So that's just about it, except for cleaning it up and changing the oil. Now, do I dump the oil or do I use my oil extractor? I'm not sure. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Let's get you set up here. There's two ways to change the oil in these. One is to dump, just turn the engine on its side and dump the oil out. There's no bottom oil uh, bung, or, or you can use a oil extractor, which I have as well, but uh, this is quick and easy, and if you do it right, you don't make a mess. So I'm just going to run it for a few minutes.
<laughs> yep, barely. I always spill some. There we go. Oh, that's gas. Perfect. Hey, I spilled some gas, Thomas. It tilted over a little further than I expected. But the oil's hot, so that's good enough. I'll just put this in my waste pail. It looks really good. Get a rag and wipe this all up at the same time. Good. And we'll just put the oil in. And then we'll put it back up on the lip so I can give it a good clean. There, he's gone. Now we're going to use 500 milliliters of the best. There we go. Tune up done. I wonder if I can just tell right now what the oil level is. That's going down there pretty fast. On Hondas, you don't uh, dip the dipstick all the way in, right? You just touch it. So that's good. So that's the service on this one. Oh, the air filter. Now the air filter has one little mark where it was sucking some oil on the blow box. So we'll just turn that around. Like that. And she'll be back next year. She, she's just into saving money as much as I am. time you see it, it'll be pretty. And there it is, shined up, all pretty and everything. It's done. We'll give her a call, because I think she wants to mow her lawn. Thank you for watching me on this one, folks. And uh, hopefully there's another one coming up in a few days. Thanks. Thank you.